Hey everybody, first things first, it's cold out here. I'm gonna have to shut my garage door. Whew. It is 23 degrees, humidity is 68%. It's around eight o'clock. Got a really nice big donation. Uh, you've donated several times. You've, uh, with uh, the money you sent me, you've really just uh, catapulted or just set my uh, my progress on fire. I was order able to order all the stuff that I need to build essentially all of the flight engineers uh, throttle quadrant mixture controls, which I'm about to see as soon. Uh, I can't thank you enough for that donation. Thank you again. Let's go ahead and shut that garage door. Oh. Anyways, I've done a lot of work. A lot of it's just reconfiguring stuff and modifying stuff. So don't be expect to be uh, dazzled. I might even forget what I've done because it's been two weeks since my last post. The first thing I need to do is, well, I don't even have any Clecos in this thing. It's just sitting there, so go ahead and pop him off of there. There we go. Whew, I have done a lot up here. Uh, I guess it would be easier to start up there so it all makes sense. First thing I did was I realized that the uh, turbo booster, turbo supercharger uh, control here was not properly oriented. It was about half an inch too close. It needs to be seven eighths of an inch from this point to this point here. So what I did was I moved it back. In order for that to happen, I'm gonna spoil the show here, but we got to start off where we start off. First thing I did that was able to enable me to do the TBS was I rebuilt these guys here. These are the main longitudinals. I have, or for the flight deck, or the flight engineer's table station. They were originally made out of aluminum because my goal back then was to try to make everything out of aluminum. But I quickly realized as I progressed that there's pretty much an, a magnesium casting everywhere you look on the B-36, especially on the inside. I mean, these would have been magnesium. These were cast magnesium. These were cast magnesium. And it just it keeps going on and on. So the first ones weren't very accurate. And I built them just to establish structure back here in order to kind of lay down a foundation of what I needed to build so I could get the canopy relatively accurate. And like I said, it's about two inches too low overall in the back. But now knowing, you know, I didn't know what this was, you know, three years ago. I didn't have this. <clears throat> so I just kind of built these. I had the rough dimensions and off I went. But now that I know what things do, I have rebuilt them completely. You can see in the uh, on my posts where I post pictures of these regularly, so you can see better detail. Um, with the big donation, one of the things I was able to purchase was the uh, the other one of these um, Teleflex controllers. Made the handle, made the mount. Um, these things are just all encompassing. <clears throat> these will be uh, nut plates that the uh, the panels attach to. So I'm going to have to rebuild all the panels. Because another one of the thing was having this original B36 quadrant cover. Despite my best efforts, my this angle right here was about a half an inch too far based on, you know, the dimensions I had. But, you know, having this on hand shows me that it needs to be back here. So that's the new line. 
So what I'm trying to say is, is this panel here, this big panel here and that big panel there, they all need to rebuilt, be rebuilt because this angle is now half an inch further back. <clears throat> These things, like I said, are all encompassing what they do. They're, they're just really cool in terms of all the, uh, the nut plates are gonna be mounted all around in here. And something I just realized is these guys right here, I couldn't figure out what they were by looking from this perspective, but eventually I figured out that these are actually adjustable stops for that. Of course, this one's not long enough, it's, but it functions. But we got that, so in theory, if I had the, uh, the proper Teleflex cable, I could link this one with the, uh, the one in the, um, the pilot's console. So we went over here, of course I rebuilt this one, trying to duplicate cast magnesium the best I can, which again allowed me to make these mounts here and here. And when I built this initially, uh, I knew that there was a square that mounted here and it had to have little tabs. I, I had no idea what this stuff looked like, or a very little understanding I should say, but this is now, you know, it's a rock and it's now installed where it needs to be. Okay. I spent a lot of time over the last couple of days because I have a dimension from there to there. It's, it's the width, the inside width, or I'm sorry, the outside width of this guy here and this guy here. It's eight inches exactly. Uh, my initial design, I, I kind of just like said, whatever, and it was eight and a half. But as I progressed up into this area, I realized that I don't have a, a half an inch to play up here. So I've, I've rebuilt all this, just, you know, drilling holes and everything. So this channel is now eight inches across. If you can see it, but I got the, that forward part in there. So what this does is this establishes with these, um, these bearings that came in. There's 12 of them and about 10 bucks a piece. There was $120 by itself, but they, I had to have them. But with these on here, I can now, and this proper, with the proper measurements on the real aircraft, I now know that the sheaves for the throttles are gonna be four and seven eighths of an inch in diameter. And those will be absolutely perfect. It's, I have a lot of pictures and dimensions of these, but I, they were either like four and a half inches or five inches. I thought they were five, but based on what I've done here, they're four and seven eighths in diameter. This thing is a work of art. Um, I don't know if I can pull this out for you, but I'd like to show you how it, how it pops out of here. Just, there it goes, boom. Notice that structure that starts down there and it's bolted down there, runs all the way up there. And that's just a support structure for the, for this. I need to mill, let's see if I can get this, go back in there. It should pop right in there. Yes, I mean, that's, that's beautiful. And it's all firm in there and everything. It's, it's wonderful. These are, uh, these are eighth inch, just pipe off the hardware shore hardware store shelves that I pressed in there to make a quarter inch wall. So those things are perfect. Those are spacers. There needs to be one of those in between each one of these mixture controls and on the throttle controls, plus shims and all kinds of good stuff. But now that I know exactly how these big knees need to be, I'm gonna go ahead and design them, get those designs off to the metal cutting people and they'll cut them out for me and uh, I'll pop them in there and rivet the handles to them and everything. <clears throat> this is just a big mystery down here as far as these these pulleys, these NAS pulleys that are in here. But you know, I've got a plenty of room for them now. A lot of figuring out to do there, which was a big mystery, but I don't want to bore you. Um, and then the mixture controls up here, um, I've got the, um, I'll build the plate, which has got the, uh, big um can't think what they're called the big cannon plugs that plug in back here or the sockets for the cannon plugs get all this stuff wired in there i can't do that until i got to build these sheaves and then build the the big platform here 
where the things pop up that hold the transmitters, which are the potentiometers. Um, I do have the potentiometers on hand. That was another thing I was able to purchase. I've got the, the aluminum stock to build their, um, the rods that they attach to. I've got everything I need. Spent today after, and I think yesterday I shrunk this thing down to like eight and a half. And then <laughs> today I shrunk it down to eight inches. So I, I had to redo the, you know, the diameter or the width on that guy down there and all this. And after I got done doing that, um, I went ahead and attacked the new um, mounts for this uh, <clears throat> alternator cutoff stuff. So they're fixed and they're they're just solid as a rock and they you know they bolt here and they bolt here and it arches up like that or vehicle and these are just this is free floating these aren't actually attached to anything so when you're putting weight on that you're transferring your weight back to here and ultimately down there uh gotta thank my guy at the sack museum alan's your name i hope you don't mind if i say your name but I thank you so much. She's got all the pictures that I need in order to finish those big gaps down there. <clears throat> Let's go down there before I sign off and have a look at the uh, that big part that I've also had to reduce its width as well. I got these, uh, I'm sorry, resin pulleys in here. They'll do. I really wish I had the the, uh, the originals, but like I said, I need like 144 of the stupid things, and people on eBay want an arm and a leg for them. But I've got the good pictures of this. Um, I did a really good job. It's really accurate. I just need to attach a, a bottom plate to it, and it looks pretty much identical to the, uh, the original specimen. But with this bolted in here, bolted in here and here and then there and there this thing is you could you could park up whatever you wanted to on that thing and it's not going to go anywhere so <clears throat> next is because i need to do some riveting i've been welding myself to death is there's going to be plates that come here and then a plate and it doubles up here and then just a regular plate. And then, of course, there's going to be a hole here for this, um, the wire or the cables for the TBS controller. So there's going to be big holes here and then a plate here, which these rivet to. And that's going to continue over to here. And then, of course, you got your opening. So the plate's going to be up here, which these will rivet to. And then over here, there's going to be a hole identical to this side because all of these wires for all this crap back in here. So it'll be plate, 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 with a big hole down the back. And then it's gonna have the, the wall that you know terminates all of this. And at the same time, it's gonna have nut plates on it for the big um, cover fairing, whatever you call it, that covers up the entire underside of the, uh, the flight engineer station. I think that's about it. I'm just, uh, I'm mesmerized by how awesome that looks. It's gonna be really cool once I get all those um, sheaves and uh, levers in there. It's gonna be awesome. I'll see y'all next time.